is fear of death and illusion today this is our topic from the point of view of nature whatever is in this planet belongs to no one whatever is in the planet belongs to everyone in the same way consciousness or soul or awareness is not of anyone but belongs to everyone and is in everyone saying that this is my consciousness is wrong understanding i am consciousness this is right understanding this piece of land is yours another piece of land is mine all these transaction are to maintain law and order from nature's point of view this earth belongs to everyone consciousness is not yours it is everyone's no doubt you are consciousness no doubt you are soul consciousness or soul is yours here is the issue and because of this there are problems this body is also not mine this body is also not yours this body has 70% water which belongs to nature every human body has 70% water this water belongs to nature from the point of view of nature this body is made up of nature the water in the body is not mine the water in the body is not yours it is nature's water this is right understanding nature means wherever there is water in this planet whether it is in a body or in a lake this water belongs to everyone no one can control water water belongs to everyone water belongs to this whole nature this is the right understanding this is the reality we can understand this reality when we do deep self inquiry whether water is in the body of a hindu or in the body of a christian or in a water or in a river water is a water water does not belong to muslim or hindu water belongs to everyone the whole nature is water in this way when a person sees reality as it is he transcends the entire universe wherever there is water in the in, in this universe you are there wherever there is a life you are there this is the true way of understanding life buddha talks about this way rumi talks about this discourse this body is made up of 70% water blood is water the body does not look like water but it is a scientific fact that the body is water we understand that the water in the body is ours and the water in the river is nature's when the water in the body of a muslim and the body of a hindu is the one how can we be separated from each other the water in the body of all human beings is the one so we are not separate we are one this is a scientific discourse of self and spiritual understanding self inquiry is needed to understand this way when a person understands at the level of the body that his body is made up of water and the water that is in my body is the same water that is in the bodies of all human beings that is the same water the same water is in the whole nature whole universe the same water is in the whole nature this is the way to make difficult life easier rumi made his complicated life easy in this way because of this understanding rumi has transcended the entire universe we call ourselves a body but we actually but actually we are water this is a real scientific and spiritual discourse when a person knows the truth of himself at the level of the body then the thought of such 
a person expands in the entire universe. When you know the truth of yourself like this, you will be there where there is life. If someone is happy, then you will also be happy. If someone is sad, then you will also be sad. The body is a shape. What is the truth of this shape? Whether I am a water or a soil, wherever there is a soil or water, I am there. We are trapped in this shape. And we have and have identified ourselves with this shape. This is a wrong understanding. This body is not just a body. It has the whole nature. The entire universe is reflecting in this body. It is called seeing the truth as it is. When we understand ourselves at the level of the body, then we can see the truth of ourselves as it is at the level of uh, soul or consciousness just as water is not yours or mine it belongs to everyone similarly the soul is not yours it belongs to everyone soul means consciousness or awareness the soul consciousness or awareness is one and is in everyone the experiences that are happening through this soul are not only yours or mine but also everyone's. Everywhere in this universe there is consciousness which is one and because of this one consciousness we have experiences. These experiences are also not ours, are yours. The thoughts that arise from these experiences are not only mine but everyone's. This is the truth to see reality as it is. The truth is that the the soul is not yours, but you are the soul. The truth is that the consciousness is not yours, but you are the consciousness. The truth is that awareness is not yours, but you are the awareness. You are conscious being. When you are conscious, wherever there is conscious being in this universe, you are there. Wherever there is consciousness, you are there. Consciousness is neither Muslim nor Hindu. Consciousness is neither Christian nor Jewish. Consciousness belongs to everyone. Consciousness is in everyone. The soul is one just as the space in my body and the space in your body is one. Just as the water in my body and the water in your body are one. Just like the soul that is in my, my body and the soul that is in your body is one. The soul is one, just as the space in my body and space in your body is one. Just as the water in my body and the water in your body are one. Just like the soul that is in my body and the soul that is in your body is one. The soul is one. The point of saying is that there is no division of or separation Anywhere in, in this universe, we people are seen separately. Some are black and some are white. Some are Muslim and some are Hindus. This separation is seen, but actually at the level of universe, there is no separation. At the level of body, there is no separation. At the level of consciousness, there is no separation. What I am talking about is not a spiritual discourse. It is also a scientific discourse. This is not a mysticism. This is reality. Ask, ask any great scientist if he can negate these things. No question arises. The truth is that scientific and spiritual discourse is the same. The problem is that we, we are lost in ideas, lost in words, lost in ideologies, lost in Christianity. Last in Hinduism, last in liberalism and secularism. If you want to understand yourself, you have to do self-inquiry. If you keep running after ideology without understanding it, you will never know the truth. What the reality is, whatever you are saying is just an illusion. Whatever you believe is just an illusion. You are consciousness, but you can't experience everywhere. 
There is no doubt that you are consciousness. You are not experiencing everywhere because the instrument is not placed everywhere. Where there is instrument placed, there will be experience. Where there is no instrument, there will be no experience. Where there is a body, there will be an experience. Where there is an experience, the recording will be stored in the brain. The body is like a camera. Where there is a camera, someone looks into this camera and the recording takes place. The body in which the recording will be, the memory will be there. We see the world through this memory. We see the materialistic world either through the body or through the recording in the brain. This body is in time and space and everything that is in time and space dies and burn. Electricity is everywhere. Electricity lights a bulb and where the bulb fuses there is no light because the instrument is dead. Electricity is there even then when a new bulb is installed there is a light everywhere like consciousness. Consciousness is also like electricity where there is an instrument there is experience and where there is no uh, instrument there is no experience but consciousness is also there there is no way to kill consciousness there is no way to kill soul because it is free from the confinement of the time and space the body is confined to time and space so the body cannot be everywhere we are like electricity free from all limitation but we consider ourselves as bulbs and bulbs have many limitations. The light coming out of all the bulbs is not separate. The light coming out from the two bulbs, one is this, one is that. It is one. The light is one and if you look fundamentally, the bulb is also the one. The material of which the bulb is made is also the one, is also the same. The problem with the body is that it has a brain. That's why we keep thinking and all the problems of duality are at the level of thinking. We always keep thinking. That's why there is a division. That's why there is a separation everywhere. So what do you understand? The reason for the division of humanity is thought. The idea that Hindu is bad and Muslim is good is the division the idea that the liberal is bad and religious is good. What is this? This is division. The idea that American is good and Pakistani is bad. What is this? This is division. The problem is here. There is no duality or division in the actual. All division is at the level of thought. Thought is the cause of happiness or sadness. The substance of which we humans are made is neither born nor dies. Water and space neither dies nor born. Fundamentally we are neither dying nor born. The material from which the body is born is the material which does not die. You are the material of this universe. The body is created and destroyed. Material is never created and never destroyed. Fear of death is just an illusion. That's why. I am this body, this is my identity, then there are problems. I am material, then there is no problem. I am in the whole universe, therefore I am the material cause and the material source of the entire universe. The important is not form but the material. There can be no form without any material and material can also exist without form. Material can take any form. Form cannot exist without material. Form cannot have any existence. Form is only an appearance like a stone statue. The truth of a stone statue is stone. Important is the stone. Because of the stone, there is a stone statue. If there is no stone, the stone statue can't exist. Substance is a reality and form is, is just an illusion. 
when watching a movie on the screen, the substance of this movie is light. A lot is seen on the screen, but nothing happens. Only light is on the screen. Consciousness is not a belief. Consciousness is not a belief system. Consciousness is something existing that can be experienced. Soul is not a belief. Soul is a reality that can be experienced. The soul is not yours or mine. The soul is the truth of the universe which is everywhere. Soul is not in present, future, past. Soul is beyond from time and space. It is beyond from thought, memory, brain and body. No one can capture it. Soul is a non-changing reality. This is the reality. Thank you so much and love you all.